Hey, this video is not like other videos because I'm asking for you to help me to not die of hunger so I can survive and help my daughter because if I die, that would actually be good if I didn't have someone to take care of. She is with her mother, but her mother is not good. And I want to guide my daughter to God. And I want you to help me. And I plan to pay you back. Because I'm looking for a job now. I've been looking. But it's not easy when you're always broke. And it's not easy walking in the sun. Going everywhere. And people rejecting you. Because, for example, one of in, in my in my two two interviews ago, the guy rejected me because he was a racist. He immediately sided with a fellow Cambodian, and I'm going to show you about this Cambodian. So after over 300 videos, I asked for money as a beggar because I quit my job due to bullying and lies against me. This is what I put in my test. Double is about A, B, C, D. One thing, two things, three things, four things. What my manager changed it to, to frame me. Thing, things, things, things. This is absolute nonsense. And I had proof that she did this and I showed my boss and he did not care because he is evil. This is my bitch ex-manager saying, I edited for you. No, you didn't do anything for me, you stupid evil bitch. You didn't do anything for me. Now, I have to forgive my enemies, but it, you're not here, so it doesn't matter that I tell you what you are. You're a bitch. In the afterlife, you have other victims, they will not forgive you. I don't have to hold this against you in the afterlife. However, I'm letting people know what happened to me, and I'm not showing your name. I'm protecting your identity, even though you don't deserve it. Now, this, oh, and there were more examples, but this, I've already proven my point, I think. Now, this just shows what happened after the so-called COVID shut down the school, making me get into debt to my boss, but I recently paid him by getting into debt to other people, and I have yet to pay them back. So uh, this was the beginning of one of my classes. I did not tell them to put those masks on. That's how they began in the class when they appeared. So I, I did not tolerate that. And uh, here's an example of a class on Zoom during the time I had to teach online. So uh, I had to do it fast. That's why the drawings aren't very good. So I made it fun for them. I was like, my bed is so ugly. So I extended the so because they thought it was funny. Anyway, this is just to show you the kind of teacher I am. And here are some of my drawings for kindergartners and such. And others. I also downloaded some from the internet that I did not do, but I like to draw. And this is me at a graduation, and that is the arm of my boss, my ex-boss. That bully, that liar, that proud Buddhist. Here is the contract I had the first year. The second time I went back to the school after I left because I got sick, because I was living in the school, which made me sick because it was so dirty. So, my salary was $225 a month. And an English teacher in Cambodia is supposed to make 500 or more. I was new, however, so I allowed him to choose a lower salary, and he chose as little as he could. Well, he could have done less, but he probably didn't think I could survive with less. He gave me the bare minimum. Most rich people are parasites. The rich are mosquitoes sucking in the blood of the poor. If one man has a dollar he didn't work for, some other man worked for a dollar he didn't get. If you are born poor, it's not your mistake. But if you die poor, it's your mistake.
it's your mistake. Now, I admit that one of the reasons that I'm always broke is I have made some mistakes. For example, I would buy maybe a juice instead of water, which is cheaper. But that's not the number one reason that I'm broke. The number one reason is that I'm never paid fairly. And then there was the, the whole year that I couldn't work and I had to get into debt. To be stay hungry, stay foolish, said Steve Jobs. Apparently, and he probably did. Because his symbol is the symbol of sin, apple. The forbidden fruit, even if it wasn't an apple, that's what it represents. But thine eyes are upon the haughty, the proud, that thou mayest bring them down. That's right, rich people. Your riches can't save you. You cannot serve God and the money. And the Purushim also were covetous, heard all these things. And they derided him, they made fun of him. And he said unto them, Ye are they which justify yourselves before men, but God knoweth your hearts. For that which is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of God. Steve Jobs was and is an abomination. God hates him and he is now burning up. Your money can't save you. For often evil men are rich and good men poor. Now I do not claim to be always good because I am not yet perfected by God. However, the goal is perfection and I do repent when I sin. But we will not exchange with them our virtue for their wealth since one abides always while riches change their owners every day. There was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus which was laid at his gate full of sores, desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. Apparently, animals have more mercy than the rich. Not all the rich, of course, most. And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into the bosom of Abraham. The rich man also died and was buried, and in hell he lift up his eyes, and being in torments, and seeth Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. Religion is excellent stuff for keeping common people quiet. Religion is what keeps the poor people from murdering the rich. Napoleon Bonaparte. His generalization fallacy four. The rich are more powerful, fighting is futile. If you believe that communism wasn't always controlled by the rich, you are sadly mistaken. I will not just stand here and let my people starve. That's better. The poor can beat the rich only with the help of other rich people. We are mere pawns in their games. Ukraine, Russia. The French Revolution was no exception. Read the Protocols and learn it Elders of Zion. Then saith one of his disciples, Yehuda Iskariot, the son of Shimon, which I should betray him. Why was not this ointment sold for three hundred pence and given to the poor? This he said not that he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief and had the bag and bear what was put therein. Then said, Jesus let her alone against the day of my bearing, hath she kept this. For the poor always ye have with you, but me ye have not always. I am not a communist, commies are atheists. I am not a capitalist, capitalists are selfish because they justify that system which is selfish because it says you can take advantage of others, but that's what capitalism is. Communism fails because it ignores mankind is generally selfish. People are not gonna work more if they're not gonna get paid for it. They're not doing it because they're nice, they're doing it for money. Capitalism has some success because it harnesses greed and it uses slaves and slavery is very profitable and productive. Just look at the pyramids. Now I'm not justifying greed, I'm just saying that greed is an incentive for selfish people to work. It works to an extent. So I'm not saying capitalism is perfect, it has some success. This computer I'm using is thanks to capitalism, not communism. All systems fail because sinners are involved. Who goeth a warfare any time at his own charges? Who planteth a vineyard and eateth not of the fruit thereof? Or who feedeth a flock and eateth not of the milk of the flock? 
Say I these things as a man, or saith not the law the same also? For it is written in the law of Moshe, Thou shalt not muzzle the mouth of the ox that treadeth out the corn. Doth God take care of oxen? For oxen? Or saith he altogether for our sakes? For our sakes, no doubt, for this is written, that he that floweth should plow in hope, and that he that thresheth in hope should be partaker of his hope. If we have sown unto you spiritual things, is it a great thing that we shall reap your carnal things? If others be partakers of this power over you, are we not, are not we rather? Nevertheless, we have not used this power until 300 videos into doing a channel where I never intended to get money out of anything, but I am desperate, I need help, and God can use you to help me. Either way, I shall always worship God, even if he lets me die of starvation. He is my only hope, but suffer all things, lest we should hinder the gospel of Christ. Please help. If I die, I cannot help my daughter. I ask to borrow. I want to pay back. If I get a job, it would take years probably, because I have other people I'm indebted to. But I want to pay back. I'm not a leech. My email address is to be put in the description for this video. Thank you.